I'm Earl Brown. I'm the host of Jazz Journeys and the executive director of the Jazz Journeys Educational Institute. We do a lot of work with the youth of today, helping them understand and appreciate what this great art form is all about. Keep in mind, once again, that we are doing a live video and recording. We ask that during the performance, out of respect for your fellow patrons and these wonderfully talented international musicians that you please keep in mind our quiet policy. We want you to have a good time, but if you can keep the chatter to a bare minimum, we'd appreciate that very much. But be sure, as you normally do, to get into the music and to the grooves and everything, all the feelings, and have a wonderful time. Please give a nice, warm round of applause for international recording artist from Philadelphia. She's traveled around the world. Many of you know her from her stay with the roots, but a lot of you also are very, very aware that she's capable of doing music in practically any genre. Please give a nice, warm a round of applause for Jaguar Wright, Jaguar Wright. Got they food, got they drinks. Okay. Tonight, we're going to be taking a walk through music history. Some very special artists to myself, and I'm sure many of you. And we're just going to talk a little bit, we're going to sing a little bit. And reflect on where music came from, and hopefully in doing that, figuring out where it's going. We like to call these little lessons in music, good music for dummies. A self-explanatory uh, version of something you already know. So, our first artist tonight we'll be starting off with is Miss Nina Simone. Sister Eunice, as I like to call her. An amazing composer, incredible writer, brilliant pianist. She left us a few years ago, three years to be exact now. And we're gonna start with a song that was very fond, near and dear to her called The Work Song. Rocks out in your hair, on your chain gang. Breaking rocks and serving my time. Breaking rocks out in your hair, on your chain gang. Cause we've been coming big to the ground. Now hold it steady right there while I hit it. While I'm breaking. Be 
to go That's a favorite of mine. Sean, I appreciate the liquor, but I'd like a tea bag. I try to do a little something good for everything I do bad. Sister Eunice, brilliant songwriter, wonderful humanitarian, smart woman. Many years ago, she left this country. I guess she saw something come that we didn't, like high gas prices. They ain't fooling me with dropping the price. I still ain't voting for them. But uh, Sister Eunice, she had a way of getting a song out just with the piano and she would. You did it to me. Yeah, 
I miss the days when women could sing songs like that and mean them. And he don't care about nothing but ESPN. Remote controls and fresh turkey dinner. That's what my baby care for. Oh. This woman. Composed over 500 songs about 60 albums in a lifetime. Countless awards, countless live recordings, shows. I think my favorite story about one of Nina Simone's shows is when she got mad one day. She was just sitting there and she started playing at the piano and she just stopped singing and just started cussing everybody out. She was mad about something. I don't know what she was mad about, but I feel her pain. You know, because being an artist is a very, it's a very heavy cross to bear sometimes, because we're servants. But the beautiful thing about servants are we get to create great works and share them, words and feelings and ideas. This next idea that Sister Eunice wrote is called Feeling Good. It's such an incredible song, so we're going to get into it.
doing so far? Y'all feeling okay? You doing okay? You sounding all right? Good. So before we move on to the next artist, if it's possible, can we please get a round of applause for Sister Eunice, better known as Miss Nina Simone? Thank you, Sister Girl. next artist was a wonderful man. Born Nathaniel Coles, named Nat King Cole by a club owner when he was playing with the Nat Cole Trio back in the 40s and 50s. This was a blessed man. He uh, was not only a musician, came from a musical religious family, he was a storyteller, a father, a writer, a composer, a lover of music. Funny enough, he didn't even love his own voice. He thought his voice was, eh, which I find absolutely insane because you don't know what love sounds like till you hear Nat King Cole sing it. We're gonna start with a song that he wrote based on one of his father's parables from one of his sermons. It's called Straighten Up and Fly Right. Let's try it in another key. No, play it in that key. I'm going to sing it high. But it all just sounds like lies Straighten up and fly right Straighten up and stay right Straighten up and fly right Put down, Papa, don't you blow your top Come on, hoards Yo ho! 
it sounds like lies. Straighten up and fly right. Straighten up and stay right. Straighten up and fly right. Cool down, Papa, don't you blow ya. Cool down, Papa, don't you blow ya. Cool down, Papa, don't you blow ya. I miss songs like that. Where it's cool to sing about funny stuff. I used to love that song, Beans and Cornbread. That was my song. Beans and Cornbread had a fight. Had mercy. They gonna be fighting on my plate tomorrow when I cook supper. So, the next song that we have to sing, that nobody sang like Nat, song he, Saying called L O V E. Love. Well, they, we like to do it our way and we like to switch it up a little bit.
Thank you. The last song that we're gonna do by Mr. Nathaniel Cole's brother Nate is a song that he made extremely popular. His daughter made it popular again. And we're gonna mess around with it a little bit. We're gonna change it just a little bit. You know it is unforgettable, but we like to call it unforgivable. You know me. I can make a sad song out of anything. Unforgivable, that's what you are. Unforgivable, you've been so far like the sound of your life.
you know me, I gotta do it my own way. I do it my way. He was unforgivable and unforgettable at the same time. Uh-huh. Ooh, the things it do to me. Think about you with that nasty heifer. <laughs> but we gonna get past it. Cause it's time to move on to the next artist. And our next artist will be Mr. Cole Porter. How many of you know who Cole Porter is? How many of you knew about Cole Porter before you saw D. Lovely? Okay, my point exactly. Cole Porter, brilliant songwriter, composer, pianist, and um, most of the artists that you hear me talk about and rave about and sing about, they started their careers singing his songs. Ella Fitzgerald's, I mean, early catalog is practically all Cole Porter, Billie Holiday, even Nina Simone, Sarah Vaughan. If it wasn't for him, they'd still all been working on the Chitlin circuit. He made the music that they were able to sing in, with the big bands at the bandstands. And he had the most uncanny way of understanding love. Most people don't understand, you know, his marriage with his wife, Linda, because he was gay and it made absolutely no sense or so to speak, but they had the most incredible, true love affair. Just loving each other, solely and totally. She loved him for who he was with no fault, all his faults and no questions and vice versa. And it just makes even more true what I've always said. You ain't gotta touch somebody to touch somebody. And you ain't gotta be all over somebody to be inside them. He wrote some beautiful songs inspired by her and we're gonna do some of those tonight. We're gonna start with Night and Day. You have to start me off right, Chris. You know, we have this thing that we have to do now. Okay. Okay. Now the problem is, I have fun. Obsession. <laughs> <laughs> like the beat, beat, beat of the tom tom when the jungle shadows fall. Like the tick, tick, tuck of the stately clock as it stands against the wall. Like the trip, trip, trip of the raindrops when the summer showers through. So a voice within me keeps on repeating you, you, you. Sun, whether near to me or far, it's no matter, darling, where you are. I think of you night.
song. But Cole wasn't just known for his love song. He was a little dirty bird. Yeah. He had the most clever and fun way of making promiscuity and nastiness sound so educated and intellectual. <laughs> One of my favorite horse songs that he ever wrote, because that's what it was, it was a horse song. It's called Love for Sale. And uh, we're gonna do that for you now. work it.
hybrid made of two so-called incompatible roses just for her called it the Linda Porter Rose that's love when somebody go and do the impossible just for you just to let you know how much you mean to them gentlemen you could learn a lesson from him I don't care if he was gay you can learn a whole lot from that man when it comes to doting on a woman it's the little things and that was something he understood and you can hear it in songs like this one we're about to do called Still of the Night. In the still of the night As I gaze from my window at the moon in its flight, my thoughts are straight to you. In the still of the night, all the world. Of the times without number, as I say to you, do you love me as I love you? Yeah. 
One day a man writes some lyrics like that for me. I don't care if he is gay. He can write them for me. We can go shopping. He can teach me how to buy shoes that don't hurt my feet. I take it. Shoot, love is hard to come by these days. Everybody's so damn selfish. Give me this, give me that. I'm not giving you nothing. And that's why they ask us alone watching ESPN with fried chicken. But let me not preach. So thank you, Cole Porter, for all your wonderful music and everything that you ever did to inspire us. You are fabulous. And if you were here today, I'd buy you a Cosmopolitan. God bless him. So moving right on along, we have Mr. Ray Charles. Ray Charles Robinson. I would tell you about him, but I think everybody saw the movie. Everybody know Jamie Foxx did a great job portraying a man, and he was blind, and he won all these awards, probably like 17, 18 Grammys, and there's nothing I can tell you at all, except for my experiences with Brother Ray. Now, it might not seem like it, but I grew up in a very religious home. <laughs> Hence, you know, me. And uh, my father, in his younger years, after he gave his life over to God and decided he was going to become a minister, we were not allowed to have the devil in our house in any way, shape, or form, especially in the form of secular music. So I would have to, you know, like, make myself get on punishment so I could be sent to my room and listen to the boys play the moon box next door so I could hear all the rap music. I stayed in trouble. I love listening to that music through my window. We'll go over my aunt's houses, you know, because they didn't care. They was smoking, they was drinking, and they had us in the basement. We was listening to everything through the radiator. So that was my only time I got to get, you know, to hear great music that I loved other than the Clark sisters and the Winans. So one day, keep playing the music now. Don't stop with it. Take your coffee break later. So um, I was rummaging through my parents' room one day, and I happened to come across a, a foot locker. And being the devilish child that I was, I knew how to use a pair of bobby pins, or hair pins, twins, or whatever have you. I got in it. And there it was the devil in my house. Full of the devil. Whole box full of the devil. Donna Summers, the Bad Girls album cover where she was posed like a hooker. Ray Charles, Nina Simone, Sarah Vaughn. I found me some Parliament Funkadelic. The devil was right there in my house. So of course I picked my, you know, cleaning my parents' room up as an extra chore. You know, so I could keep going through the footlock and get paid for it. And I fell in love with the sound that I heard, hearing that man's voice. I remember it, even now to this day. There are no words that will ever do him justice. To be blind, living in a cold world that's dark to you all the time. And to be able to just travel around the world and share your gift and your heart and your soul with everyone is absolutely phenomenal. And we applaud you, Brother Ray. I got my vision and sometimes I be scared and go anywhere. Go around the corner in North Philly, boy. I don't like to go outside alone at night when I'm over the old neighborhood, boy. Well, ain't that Jaguar right? She got money. <laughs> really? You wanna pay my bills, fool? Oh. Hey, there y'all go again. We're gonna start off singing a very popular song of his that we love very much. That I love very much. George.
just an old sweet song Keeping Georgia on my mind Ooh. I say It's a song of you mm-hmm. It comes as sweet and clear As moonlight creeping through the pine oh. Ooh. Ooh. Love I'm reaching out So we can get into some of my music before they put y'all out and it make me go back into the broom closet. We gonna do Unchain My Heart. I love to end the night on an up night. Up beat. Let me be 
let me be Won't you 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 let me be 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 tonight I hope you enjoyed the walk through the past and where all these rappers were able to keep careers because if it wasn't for that music what would they do they do nothing else but sample this anyway I feel sorry for them because when they get old they ain't gonna get no checks they gonna have to get a check to some of my grandchildren but such is life I love the music I hope you enjoyed our renditions tonight I hope you enjoyed what we did something different, something new, an idea and a trend that I'm trying to start in our industry to keep the youngins informed and hip and to keep the grown folks happy and feeling familiar with great music that you grew up listening to, trying to bridge the gap. So thank you for coming out tonight. Give yourselves a round of applause for even being here and sitting through it all. Thank you. So we're going to do one of my songs. And then we gotta go. The management say so. I'd probably stay up here all night. Y'all ready? Don't know what I ever did to you. Make you treat me the way you know. Don't know what I ever said to you. Make you talk to me the way you know. I've been just sitting here going crazy. Thank you. Thank you. Wondering. Why'd you have to go and do this to me? Every night I think about you, every day I dream about you. All I want you to do is come, come to me, walk through that front door and make me happy and I go crazy. I said, I'm I, just sitting here thinking about you, baby. Thank you. 
miss our horn section for tonight. Tim on guitar. guitar. Back here on the bass, we have Mr. Dominic Weatherby. Beat it, beat it, beat it on the bass. Dominic Weatherby on bass and on keys and musical direction here we got Christopher Weatherby musical direction and keys And back here, ain't nothing but trouble, just a little bit, baby trouble, Tremaine on the drum.
Jaguar Wright, international recording artist from North Philadelphia. Jaguar Wright.